What's up everybody and welcome back to episode 9 of my Tech It How To Guide. I dropped the beginner's guide from the title just because these aren't uh, beginner machines that we'll be making today. Um, today we'll actually be crafting a solar flower, but in order to make that we're going to need an energy collector as well as an antimatter relay. I'll be doing things a little bit different in this video too. YouTube screwed me on my last upload and it cut out the materials that we needed to craft the alchemy bag. Therefore, I'll be trying to put screenshots as well as below list the items it will need. Um, hopefully, it doesn't get cut out. If it does, I may have to redo this video. Be sure to leave some comments and feedback and let me know if you enjoyed this way or the old way better. Alright, so with that out of the way, at this point, we're going to have to first create an energy collector. Some of you may want to pause the video and take note of the items that are in the crafting grid over here in the corner so that you can have the items you're going to need in order to craft the energy collectors when you're ready hit play anyways we'll get this set up um, you need six like this you need six in all of these rows um, actually we don't need it there I apologize for that get these laid out now that we have that our furnaces go down here our glass goes on top now we have six energy collectors which we'll take out of there Take a quick pause, I'll get the next materials and be right back with you. Alright, so I'm back. Some of you again may want to take a quick pause, pause the video at this point to take note of the things that will be over here in the crafting grid when you're ready hit play. But I'll get things moving. Next we're going to be making an antimatter anti relay. We need one energy collector that we just crafted. We'll then take our obsidian and we will place it around like so then we will place our glass on top and as you can see now we have an antimatter relay again I'll take another quick pause and I'll be back with you guys when I get the materials we need next alright so I had the materials again you may want to take a quick pause at this point so that you can take note of the materials you're gonna need we actually have to craft, craft another alchemical chest we do so by placing the items like so and whoops I got that backwards and now we have our alchemical chest, which we'll be using to craft, craft another energy condenser as we did in one of the previous videos. I'll get the materials together and I'll be right back with you. Okay, so now I'm back. Again, you may want to take note of the materials you're going to need in order to create the energy condenser. Or you can go back and watch one of my previous videos where I crafted the energy condenser. But we'll place the items in here like so. Whoops. The diamonds go around it like this. And now we have our energy condenser. Um, next we'll be crafting a solar flower. It's um, it'll, This is like a cheap version of it. There are actually better versions out there, but this is the best way to get you started for the time being. And it's going to get you the most diamonds. Obviously when you craft a solar flower, it'll produce diamonds for you different than this. It will actually uh, create diamonds out of thin air. It uh, uses the energy like the sun the sun's energy in order to craft diamonds whereas over here in the energy condenser you use scrap materials which gives you EMC and then makes diamonds for you so I will go get the solar flower the solar flower set up and I'll be right back with you okay I'm back I decided I'd show you guys how I go about setting mine up um, first you're gonna wanna take one of your energy collectors and place it there you're then going to want to place your antimatter relay there and then you will surround the antimatter relay with the energy collectors. Um, take note that in order to place the energy co collectors on top of the antimatter relay, you need to hold shift or your crouch button, whatever you have your crouch button set to, or it will just like basically open it up and you'll be able to look what's inside. And then after you've done that, you'll want to place your energy condenser below. And after you've placed your energy condenser, you just place your diamond. And as you can see, it is now gathering EMC that will uh, eventually craft diamonds. I mean, if you have the materials, you could um, craft more energy collectors as well as antimatter relays to help speed the process up. But this is a pretty nice option, so you don't have to constantly feed scrap into this. You can, on a side note, feed scrap in to speed the process up. So um, make sure to... Use uh, use that energy condenser possibly that you made before seeing that you won't need it. I mean you could keep it, but It's really not that useful once you have this because this basically just turns you know the Solar power into EMC which in, uh, creates diamonds for you 
if you're on a server and you know what a chunk loading block is, you may want to place a chunk loading block below there so that if you move out of the area, this will continue to produce energy so that you can get more diamonds. But that wraps up today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to leave some comments and feedback below about how I did with the whole materials recipe and things of that nature and whether or not if you enjoyed the video. Like I said, that's it. This has been Too Cold and I'm out. Peace.